Hey YouTube world, it's uh, Sean here, Gamer Treasures. Um, I'm doing my fourth video here. I'm doing the camera angle of like what's behind me. I moved around my desk. I just got my back wall back here with Jamal. You know, too bad he blew out his knees uh, behind me. Just pretty much a blank wall. I, I'm thinking about maybe uh, putting a green screen behind me that I can edit. Um, so that's one thing I might be ordering too with other stuff as I kind of get used to doing all this. But this video is going to be me um, actually cracking a, a graded card um, to play with it for old school. I, it, these raw uh, revised Tundra is going to go for you know anywhere from a crap condition 150 bucks around there. Um, that's if you're lucky. Um, they usually float around the 200 range, um, but a nice raw one will go for, you know, 230, 250, somewhere in there. Um, and this one I got, um, here, I'm going to hold it up, see if I can get a good, it's a PSA nine mint. Um, I got this for, uh, I think it was like 282 99 or something like that. But then I had, um, some kind of eBay promo. So it was about like $252 with shipping. Um, so, you know, it is an expensive card and everything, but I, I own others of these and nine, five graded BGS. Um, so I'm going to crack this one to play with it, uh, for just a little more than what I would have paid for one raw. Um, now most people won't do this. I will never do this on like a nine, five card. Um, especially, you know, power nine and stuff. There's just, it's just throwing money in the trash. If you do that, in my opinion, um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and crack this, and I've got some tools here, and I'm going to lay them out, and I'm going to tilt the camera down and crack it open and hopefully not damage the card. So the tools I got from my toolbox to see, um, I've got just some needle nose pliers. I've got a crescent wrench, adjustable crescent wrench, in case I need to clamp it down the case. I've just got like a small pair of channel locks, Ace brand, and then I got a pair of Craftsman RIP Desears. Um, side note, uh, Lowe's is actually picking up Craftsman, Craftsman and their lifetime warranties here like within the next two weeks. I talked to a guy that worked uh, at Lowe's when I was selling a bed the other day and they told me about it, but uh, these are called uh, like side cutters. And I think this is going to be the most uh, useful tool out of everything here, but we're going to find out what, what happens. Okay, so uh, I just adjusted my camera. That took way too long. Um, I'll probably just next time I'll just pause. I'm just doing these videos raw. I'll have to pause. Um, pause my videos and then restart them. That way it uh, doesn't cut out. But let's see here. I think they said... Damn. This is pretty tough. Right now I just got the needle nose nut pliers clamped down pretty hard here, uh, the side cutters, and then I've got just a regular pair of grips here. I'm going to just try and bend it a little bit to crack it. Oh, there it goes. You could see and you could hear it. I'd also recommend if you don't, I wear glasses. If you didn't wear glasses, I'd probably wear some kind of eye protection because if some of this hard plastic were to um, shoot up. That was just from that one break there. Wait, can you see it? You can see that corner's all kind of bent and crooked now, that one corner. Um, I definitely wear some eye protection doing this. Um, you don't want to get a, a plastic shard up in your eye and have to go have surgery. That would suck. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay. It's like doing surgery here. Oh man. Hmm. That seems pretty dangerous. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, that one bent a lot. That kind of scared me. Let me see. Hopefully I didn't damage the card. Damn. This is a little tougher than it looks. I'm just worried about the card. Like, Go around the corner here. Okay. Man. This is going to be messy too, guys. There it goes. Little man, you know, a little put some hands in there. Gonna keep this uh, this PSA graded slip here. And maybe put the number down on the video so you guys know which one's no longer in existence. Um, even though it's not anything high, man, this little plastic stuff got everywhere. Okay, so I can actually feel the back of the card now. I need to be super careful here, um, not to damage the card. See here, I'm just going to slide it out. See here, I got the all the tops cracked off. I'm just going to slide it out very smooth, and hopefully I didn't scratch up my card. That's the rest of the case. This is just going to go in the trash. Um, and then I got my Tundra here. Oh, it actually had a piece of broken plastic. It looked like a piece of glass. And, uh, you know what? I did, uh, slightly scuff the top of the card, uh, when I took it out of the plastic here. It's not super bad, but it's got, like, a little, uh, indentation now. Let me see if I can... I don't know if you can see it there. The top of the card there, you can see that scuff the top it looks like it it's not cut it's more of like an indentation it's probably when that plastic bent so I, I I did get a a slight damage to this graded card but I'm just gonna play with it anyway so it's not that bad it still kinda sucks so I mean this stuff's super fragile taking these these cards out of uh, their graded packages for sure and one thing I'm gonna do too uh, I'm doing like the wobble test it's not like the bin test but like Magic cards have a distinctive sound when you bend them um, because it feels weird, but it's probably because it's been in that graded case forever, but it's a real card. Um, you always want to do this with some of the older ones to make sure they're authentic because um, there were uh, fake cards that were graded at one point. Um, so I guess that's it. That's that video. My next video, I'll have some uh, graded cards for sale.